Zermatt was one of the challenges in Google CTF 2023. It was one of the most solved challenges during the CTF. Let's find out why. Description of the challenge reads Roblox made Lua packing popular. Since we'd like to keep hanging out with the cool kids, here's our take on it. Let's download the attachment and unpack it. We are given only one Lua file, which we can open in any text editor. The code looks a bit obfuscated, but not that much. Anyway, let's reformat it so that is a bit more clear. Ok, now it's a bit better. Looking at the file structure, we are dealing with a huge and complex code flow. But let's not get ahead ourselves too much. At the beginning of the file, we can see some local variables, v0, v6, being set to some of the common functions like string.car or table.contcat. v7 is interesting as it's a function that uses the aforementioned variables and we can see that it's being called with some characters. It looks like it's a string decryption routine. Let's put that part into Lua compiler and run it with one of the values. We got two number. That confirms our suspicion. Let's run that for the rest of the calls to v7 in this file. Having all the strings decoded, it gives us a bit more information what might be happening in this function. Let's jump into the console and run it. We see a nice ASCII logo. We can type something and check if it's correct or not. Let's run again, but this time hit Ctrl Z to exit from input weight. We can see a stack trace of the code where the break happened. We are located in some code on line 2282. Checking this line in the editor, we can see that we are assigning v191 at index v296 to the result of the call of v191 from index v296. That's an interesting call as we are overriding ourselves. Let's print out the content of v191 before our call. That's not that much helpful, but maybe we can do something about it. A quick check on Stack Overflow gives us a helper function that prints the contents of the table in a much more readable fashion. Let's copy it to our file and use it instead of our print. Much better. This is by pure luck, but this v191 variable seems to be some kind of context object. We can see some function pointers at index 3 and a prompt at index 9. Let's add an extra printing after our call. Nice, we have our input store at index 8, where before there was a function. It feels like we are getting closer. Let's search where this v191 variable is used. There are few places, but not that many. Let's add printing there. Running it again and observing the results shows an interesting looking string. Reconstructing it gives us something that looks like a flag. Checking it in the binary shows that this is in fact our flag. Win.